Hey guys, it's Alex C here again and this quick tip is about cameras and these little tiny things they have next to them and what they mean. Now, generally if you have one view open and you click on one or the other and say you move this camera around here, you can click between them and it switches between the cameras. This gets slightly more difficult and the white one indicates obviously which is the active camera. It gets more difficult if you have this view selected and you click on this camera and now this view for some reason has this camera but this thing is still white. You can even go further if here we click on the white one so we're in the editor camera the default one which isn't actually a camera we're just in the editor camera and now here as you can see if we for example turn on garage shading we're actually in a camera and we can switch between the two cameras and if you hit render you're actually still going to be rendering this scene not this one because, um, and it's going to be confusing if, for example, you open a scene file like this and you're clicking these and you're like, okay, so I want to render the scene from here. And then you go to render and picture viewer and you'll see that it's rendering from the top and you're like, what? What's happening? That's because uh, you have to make sure that here it's uh, in view, you have users render view ticked because view uses render view. And this white thing, this white little circle corresponds to the viewport which is the render view if that makes sense. Basically this unnecessary feature where you click on a view and it changes in whatever viewport you have selected is incredibly inconvenient and should be, it didn't, wasn't like this, this was a new feature in I think release 14 or something but you know, before if you wanted to switch a camera of a view which is not the primary one, you had to go cameras and you pick the camera here. And that was very convenient because rarely do you want to switch views in the other views. I mean, switch cameras in the other views. So anyway, there you go. A small two and a half minute tip on how to deal with cameras. Uh, so Alexei from Ace5 Studios and I'll see you in the next tutorial.